So you've been an agent for 30 years. When did you start using espresso and how has it changed your business? You know what? I didn't start using them until last December. So it'll be a year this month. And it actually has changed my business because what it's allowed me to do is to understand that it's not about buyers. Okay. And if you're a new agent, you know, you want to get the easy, oh, I got a buyer, but it's all about the listings. And so, you know, that's what I've been mainly focusing on all year is getting listings. And and I love that because, yeah. you know, as the market changes, it doesn't matter. We're going to still make our money. You know, Absolutely. You listing. Listings Absolutely. Are, are king around here. Hi, I'm Noelle with Today's Brew, where top producing real estate agents share their tips and tricks on making more money, taking more listings, and having fun doing it. On today's episode, we welcome Deborah Jackson from the Alexandria, Virginia area. Hi, Deborah. How are you? Hello. How are you today? I am excellent. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Why don't you um, go ahead and expand on your territory? You've mentioned um, that you're licensed in Maryland and Virginia. So for everyone that doesn't know the Alexandria area, why don't you let us all know what where you do work? Yeah, thank you. Well, you know what? I'm in the uh, metropolitan area of Washington, D.C. And so uh, Virginia is like a bridge away from D.C. and Maryland is a bridge away from D.C. So we call it the DMV, D.C., Maryland and Virginia. So right now I'm actively licensed in Virginia and in Maryland, and I'm studying to get my D.C. license. That's my end of the year goal. So I've got Go girl. Class and that's what I'm working on. <laughs> that's very, very impressive. How long have you been in the business? I've been in the business for 30 years, since 1993. Wow. So you are definitely an experienced, seasoned agent with lots to offer us today. And all the agents that are maybe struggling a little bit or become a little stagnant or maybe brand new to the industry, I'm sure that you can help guide them along today. So let's go ahead and get right into it. And tell us about your mornings. How, wh how do you get started in the day? What's most important in the morning is that you get up. So that means you got to get to bed because, yeah, you got to get up. And uh, what Espresso has been uh, telling all of us agents is, you know, you want to be on the phone by 8 a.m. and you want to be role playing at 730. And so um, what I do is I have to get up at seven. I'm not a morning person. But I get up at seven, do my devotion, um, meditate, pray, and then the phone rings at 730 and then we go into role play. And so that's pretty much how it is. And also, you know, being on the phone at 8 a.m. I'm not always on the phone at 8 a.m. I'm, I'm not a hypocrite, but that's what they recommend because you want to be on there at 8 a.m. to beat everyone for the expireds and for the for sale by owners. And actually come January 1st, which is a Monday, like Jackie and Jim have said, we gotta be on there making those calls. So I'm not gonna have a late New Year's. <laughs> I'm gonna have a New Year's Eve, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to help myself for January one. I'm gonna be making phone calls. And that's the honest to God truth. Absolutely. Do it. I'm going to do it too. And like you said, it's, it's a Monday and we're starting off the new year and there's no better way than to start off the way that we're supposed to. <laughs> um, so uh, what sources are you calling when you're prospecting? Uh, the sources, well, what you want to do is you want to call the expireds, the FISBOs, and then your sphere of influence. And also they talk about circle prospecting. And so, but the main thing is uh, just for many planning, you need to uh, know what your numbers are, how many contacts that you want to make so you can, you know, get, get, stay on the phone, really two hours. You need to stay on the phone. So the productivity time is from eight to noon. That's, that's really your block of time, eight to noon. If you can do eight to noon, um, that's wonderful. But if you can't, it's okay, you still gotta make the calls. So however you do it, you gotta make the calls every day, really. You, you absolutely, have to. absolutely. Eight to noon is pretty impressive if you are calling for all those four hours. That's, right. that's 
that's wow. <laughs> that's yeah. wonderful. Um, how many contacts is it taking for you to get a, a listing appointment? You, you know, usually it just depends. And the thing is, you're not going to get a, a listing appointment every day. You know, you want to just make sure you're making the calls every day so you can have someone that you can talk to so you can get an appointment. That's what you want to really focus on. Not so much how many appointments, but how many calls that will lead you into getting the appointment. Absolutely. So that being said, um, when you're not when you're making these calls and you're not setting an appointment with these leads, how are you following up with them? How are you staying in, in their face? So, so basically we have what you call a folder system mm -hmm. and uh, we have the folder system uh, one to 10. So as you're making these calls, you're, you're putting them in your folders. And if it's a hot lead, you're putting it in uh, to call them back the next day or put them in the monthly folder. So it's just, it's just like a system that you have. Yeah. Um, but every day you're making those calls. And one other thing they talk about is you want to get a, 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 a bunch of them, but you don't want to have so many because you do want to be able to call them at least 10 times if you don't get it. And then that's why if you do the eight to noon um, or however you work your, your schedule, if you can't get them, then maybe you can get them in the evening or something like that. But the, the, the system, the Expresso system is so wonderful because it's all right there and you just go in and the database is sitting there waiting on you. Absolutely. Makes it easier. Not yeah, even, it does. It makes it you still have to do the work. Um, so you've been an agent for 30 years. When did you start using Espresso and how has it changed your business? You know what? I didn't start using them until last December. So it'll be a year this month. Nice. And, and it actually has changed my business because what it's allowed me to do is to understand that it's not about buyers. Okay. And if you're a new agent, you know, you want to get the easy, oh, I've got a buyer, but it's all about the listings. And so, you know, that's what I've been mainly focusing on all year is getting listings. And, and I love that because, yeah. you know, as the market changes, it doesn't matter. We're going to still make our money. You know, Absolutely. You got a listing. Listings Absolutely. Are, are king around here, you know? Mm -hmm. So how many listings have you taken from Espresso in the past year that you've been using us? I've taken, I believe, it maybe five. Nice. Maybe, nice I, I believe it's been about, it may be five listings. Uh, I know that when you get a listing, you get a, you get a sale sometimes. So um, I've listed one, two, three, maybe four, maybe four. Right. But then I've gotten uh, a buyer because when I've listed their home, I've had Absolutely. to sell them. You know, I had to find them a home. Yeah, no, so, that's wonderful. Expresso has helped me this year with my numbers. And so that's why I'm like super excited about really um, continuing to internalize the scripts. Okay. Yes. So I can listen better. Okay. So <laughs> that's what I'm, you know, that's what I got to do. Uh, yeah, know. exactly. You need to role play. Like you said, you're doing at seven 30 and, and um, write, write down your scripts or however you, however you plan on internalizing them. Cause you're right. If you're sitting there trying to think about what you need to say, you're not listening to your potential future client and they'll know that on the phone and they'll mm -hmm. probably hang up on you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's good for you to be prepared. Like you are, it sounds like you're going to have an incredible 2024. What is your goal for 2024? Well, my goal is to do at least what I've done this year mm -hmm. and um, even more. Okay. I, I mean, I would say, let me double it. Why not? Yeah. You know, I can double it. I you can definitely double, double it. I'm going to double it this year. I All know. right. I'm going to yeah. follow up next December, 2024. <laughs> yes. And you know, ex Espresso is what I call my, uh, my secret weapon now, because I really wish I, I mean, you know, when you're an agent, they always say do expires, fizzbos, you know, every, it's all the same stuff. But with Espresso, mm -hmm. they give you the system and they give you the training and, and it is a discipline and, sure. and, and it is a discipline. You have to be disciplined, you know? And so that's what I like. And it's like 
you know, another thing I love is that you're going to meet, we're meeting on Mondays, we're meeting on Wednesdays, we're meeting on Thursdays, but it's like you're a, uh, a part of a group. Yes. You know, we're, we're still, we're chasing the same thing. We have the same thing and there's business enough for everybody. Absolutely. So if I see somebody in my area, I don't care because you know, it's all good. Iron it's sharpens iron. So yes. keep you going. You'll know, you know, oh, well, Sally is in my area and she's making the calls every day. So I better make the calls too. Yes. Yeah, it's a great system to have in check. How do you keep a healthy mindset? <laughs> praying. <laughs> you know what? And also um, what one of my mentors said, you have to um, associate with like-minded people. And that's what Expresso does. It allows you to have the association that you need in order to increase the capacity that we need in order to do what we do. You yeah. know, you can't give up. You, when you're a realtor, you got to be strong. Absolutely. You know, you're going to get those no's. So, and, and, you know, I get an attitude sometimes when people hang up. I'm like, they just hung up on me. So <laughs> I'm sensitive to telemarketers when they call me, I know. you know, and then sometimes I'm like, you weren't ready. You know, when they call me, I'm like, you weren't ready. What, what's going on here? You so, weren't prepared. So you you're prepared. You're schooling the telemarketers. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love that you've received so much confidence from using our platform and Jackie and Jim and being part of the mastermind groups and your role playing and your scripts. Um, it's really exciting. If you had one, one piece of advice for a newer agent going into 2024, what would that be? Make sure you're on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Love that, it. Love that's, it. That's, that's the best advice I can give you. Love it. Deborah. how can we reach out to you if there's other agents that want to send you referrals? Oh my goodness. You can, you can, you can text me. <laughs> uh, you can call me and my phone number is 703-864-1925. I'm here for you. I love it. Well, you have a, a wonderful personality and you're ready to work. So I am sure you are going to have a great 2024, like I said. And best of luck to you. And I look forward to following up with you next December and seeing you, you double your business. I won't disappoint you. I know you won't. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Deborah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. You have a happy new year. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Bye.